Hello and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. My name is Rosemary Orchard and in today's show we are going to take a look at Stream Deck for productivity. The Stream Deck is a device aimed at streamers, people who like to stream games for example that they play on Twitch or any of the other services out there. But the Stream Deck can be used for much more than this. Elgato is the company who creates the Stream Deck, and as you might be able to guess from their website, they don't just create this Stream Deck. They also create capture devices, such as capture cards, which you can plug into your machine. And they also have various different lights, green screens, multi-mounts, and even a Thunderbolt dock. But what we're interested in is this device here, the Stream Deck. This is the 15 button Stream Deck. It does also come in six and 32 button variants. There's also the Stream Deck mobile option, which we will explore today, which allows you to use an iPhone as a software version of the 15 button Stream Deck. My Stream Deck is the 15 button Stream Deck, and personally, that's the one I recommend. However, if you don't already have the hardware, I would suggest that you try the free one month trial on your iPhone instead to give it a go and see whether or not Stream Deck will be useful for you. The Stream Deck is a programmable keyboard that you can modify to do exactly what it is you want and need. This means that each individual button is not just a button, it's a mini LCD display. So you can have it show you any image you like and do anything you want when you press it. And yes, that means when you physically press the button on your device. This website is full of handy tips and tricks, including if we go back up to the top, a get started section. If we scroll down this page, we can see how Elgato envision that we use the Stream Deck, we being the end user, of course. But as you and I both know, there are more ways that we can use this than just what's listed on the website. But let's take a quick look. First up is using the Stream Deck with OBS Studio which is a popular streaming application that you could install on your Mac or a Windows machine to help you capture games. They also have guides for using this on Twitter and YouTube. Unfortunately, in comparison to the rest of the website, the productivity tab is quite minimal, but that's okay. That's what today's screencast is all about. So I've already downloaded and installed my Stream Deck software. Let's get started. This is the Stream Deck software on my Mac. It lives in the menu bar, and when I click on it, then my options are to either configure Stream Deck, close the window if I've got it open, minimize it, open preferences, view some more actions, or quit Stream Deck entirely. When I click configure Stream Deck, it pops up this screen with my Stream Deck on it. Now I've put a video of my Stream Deck in the bottom right hand corner, and you can see that what I see on my Stream Deck is exactly the same as what I see on my Mac. I have a welcome button in the middle, and if I click on this button right here, then I can see that it is a website button that opens a URL. We'll go into the details of what the buttons are like in a moment, but let's take a moment to look at the Stream Deck app as a whole before we dive too deep into the weeds. First of all, in the top left of the Stream Deck app, well, if I click on Stream Deck, you can see Devices Stream Deck. Now this is because I have a physical Stream Deck which is plugged into my Mac. Underneath this, I also have mobile devices where I could go ahead and add a mobile device if I wanted to. Below this, I have my default profile. If I tap on this, then I can see my current profile or list of profiles available. And I could also add a new profile and edit profiles. To the right of this section, I have the settings. And when I tap on this, then I can see which version of the current Stream Deck software I'm using and even check for updates. I can also change my device name. And I'll do that and call it Rosemary Stream Deck. I can also change how quickly my Stream Deck should go to sleep since the last time I pressed a button on it. This is just like the display on your Mac where you can control how quickly that goes to sleep. Now, as your Stream Deck has multiple different LCDs on it, then it might be a good idea to put it to sleep, which I usually do after 30 minutes. You can also set screensaver, which allows you to choose different images. I'll cancel that for now. I can also adjust the brightness here of my actual Stream Deck. So here it's now at full brightness. And if I drag the slider down, it goes back to minimum brightness. I'm going to just slide that back to about where it was. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. 
Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.